Hey y'all and welcome to Totally Tay Tay Ballet. I thought I'd take this time to do a YouTube tutorial hair video on how I do my French twist. It's definitely been the most requested video to do. I had a lot of people ask how I do it, so here it is. So my French twists are very different. It's not your normal French twist with it's just like part it down the middle or the side and you just twist it and you pin it. I do a lot of crazy things to get my French twist how I look. I always thought I looked like a T-Rex with a French twist, so I definitely wanted volume and more of a bun look. So this is very, very different. It's not your traditional French twist, but hey, you might like it. What you wanna do is you wanna start with a middle part. You can also do this with the side part. I just prefer a middle part because I think it's prettier on my head but that's completely up to you how you want to do it. Okay, now that it took me a year to find my middle part, I found it. It's not perfect, but it's there. My hair is really clean, so when I have clean hair, I find that the French dress is very hard to do. Usually it'll be a little wet, or if you have some dry shampoo, that's why I said to have some. Kind of make it a little dirtier. It'll give it some volume too. Like I said, I'm not big on like the flat, like gluing your head down and it's gonna give you wrinkles when you're older. Definitely not myself. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna separate where my hairline meets in the back. And you don't wanna go so far back because the, you'll see in a minute, the bun is gonna rest right here. If you parted it so far back, that hair isn't gonna lay right, which you will see what I mean in a minute. The next I'm gonna do is the same thing to the other side. Just making sure they're even. And like I said, the same thing can be done with a middle part. You would just separate them in halves like the middle. Now, two rubber bands. You're gonna, I'm gonna look really silly for a little while. You're gonna give yourself a beard. Or if you have a clip, whatever. That's really cute, right? Okay. So next I'm gonna do, and if you have short hair, because when I did this, I did cut my hair off and it was really, really short. I found that teasing the hair really helps just because it gives it volume. Like I said, lots of bobby pins. I hope you all have them. I'm gonna grab my biggest bobby pin, which is this guy. This is the one that's gonna secure my entire hair. And I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a spray. Next, I'm gonna do this facing away from you so you can see what I do. I'm gonna twist the hair like normal. I like to start, you know, not too low, not too high because you don't want the bun to be really high up. So I just twist like a normal French twist. And that's it. So that's gonna be your first one and then you're just gonna secure that. Pretty tight. It doesn't matter if it comes through because it's gonna be covered anyway. And I wanna make sure that I go all the way down. So I want that nice and locked in. Okay, so that's pretty secure. Next step, you have this little guy. So I'm gonna kind of, it shouldn't go anywhere. If you pinned it enough, it shouldn't really go anywhere. So next step you're gonna do, I like to spray it. And I used to, because my hair used to be very, very short, like I said, it was like here, I would tease it. And I still do a little bit, just cause like I said, it gives it that little volume. With a teasing brush, you can do the same thing. And you're gonna tuck under as much as you can and just kind of start spreading it out. That was bad, there we go. Spreading the bun out. And the first thing I'm gonna do is do a center pin right down that middle part, just to secure it. And then you kind of just gotta start playing with it. Spreading it out, securing it down. I don't like that bobby pin, like this one. And honestly, you don't need to put that many in there because most of these are gonna come out as you start adding the other pieces in. This is mainly just to hold it down. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there because I'm gonna fix it in a minute because it's not done all the way. The main part that should be completely done and not needed to be touched is just that bottom half. So next you're gonna release your beard. Okay, now I like to do this side first, so it's my left, just because I find most of the hair goes to this side, but there's really no right or wrong. If you wanna do your right side first or your left side first, it doesn't matter, but I do the left. 
and I'm gonna spray it. I'm not gonna spray so much just because I don't need a helmet head because I'm not going on stage, I'm in quarantine. And all you're gonna do, now you get your smoothing brush, that teasing brush I talked to you about, you can even get a comb. Just start combing it down. And as you can see, you're already creating that nice twist. The reason I pulled these out is because I found when I did the French twist, I could never fix this part. Like the twist looked good, but there would be bumps or something would not be laying right. So this way you're able to manipulate the front of your head, which is what I really, really like. And it's aesthetically very pleasing. And also if you have a crown, I usually would actually put the crown in and put these over it to really secure that crown down. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a flat clothespin too, and I'm gonna turn around so you can see. You wanna make sure that there's no bump. Like, see how that bump is there? I don't want that there. So even if you have to remove that really big one just to kind of fix it a little bit, you want it, You want this part really flat. So all I'm gonna do is bring it around, and you're gonna pin right underneath, like so. And that's it. So now you have a nice, smooth swoop, which is what I really, really like. And now you're probably like, well, what do you do now with that little tail sticking out? Well, first I'm gonna make sure I like the way this is laying, because I like to push it down a little bit. I like that swooping look. If you don't like hairspray, then, you know, you can't be a dancer because a lot of hairspray goes into this process. All right, so very smooth, very elegant. You have that nice image, which I really, really like. Now, when I said about how you wanted to make sure the part wasn't too back, this is where that comes into play. This little tail from the other side, I'm just gonna twist it a little bit, like so, and start feeding it into that bun, which is why I said I'm gonna have to remove these bobby pins anyway, because that's what I'm doing now. All I'm doing is removing that bobby pin that I had secured it down and putting it over that little twisty part. And I'm doing the same thing all the way around. Removing the bobby pins that I secured the hair with. Now, see how it meets? That's what I was talking about. You don't want your bun so far forward because that's gonna interfere. Twist and just start like removing the bobby pins as you go. It's a lot of like just tedious work. Eventually though, this becomes very, very easy and I can do it pretty quickly. So that's the first side. So obviously I don't like the, how that's sticking up. So you just wanna make sure that the side you just pinned in is nice and flat and even. It's just a lot of manhandling and making sure, I'm very OCD with my hair, like bad. If something's like not right, I feel like I don't have a good show. Like I really have to make sure my hair is good. It's definitely part of it for me. I've always been that way. So next, you're gonna take this guy and do the same thing. And it's gonna have that nice swooped look. So, here's the brush. And the same thing, that nice swooped. And I just wanna make sure that everything that's on that right side is nice and down. And I'm gonna take another flat pin Turn around so you can see, and pin it. And that's it. So you have that nice swoop look. And as you start doing this, you can see like this is starting to bubble, but because it's all separated, I'm able to really fix it to the shape of my head, which is what I really, really like. And it's got that nice flat bun look, and I really like that. I didn't like how it was just like, a stick and then like a little dot. It just didn't look aesthetically pleasing to me, on my head at least. Some people can pull it off. I definitely am not one of them. And like I said, you'll have to do a lot of just like little manhandling work here and there. Okay, so your last step, spray. And you're just gonna twist. And this bobby pin's coming out. Oh, not a good bobby pin. Might even need to add another flat one. Like I said, my hair is very clean, so this is definitely a lot harder when my hair is cleaner. Okay, now just twirling it up like I did last the last one. 
And I'm gonna remove the bobby pins once again and start tucking that under. Lots of just fooling with the hair, honestly. All right. Now you're like, oh, this guy's like sticking out. All I'm gonna do is do that. Next, I'm going to spray and just start forming it really nicely to my head because I'm able to manipulate those hairs because I pinned it a certain way, which is why I like doing it. And there you go. That is your French twist. I really like how it's laying flat. There's a little bun and it looks really, really pretty from the back. So it gives you a nice line. So I hope this helped. I hope I explained it as much as I can. If you have any questions, just comment below and I will answer them as best I can. Thank you for watching y'all. Bye.